In this video, I'm going to show you choosing the sample rate and bit depth in Reaper. Choosing the sample rate and bit depth is one of the first things you'll want to know before you start recording in Reaper. And while it's not super important, which when we choose, it can have an impact on the quality or fidelity of our audio recordings. So let's see how to adjust it. When we first create a new project, it's going to default to some sample rate and bit depth, most likely Reaper's default. We can go up here to audio device settings and choose it, which opens up this preference page. I'm on a Mac, so it looks like this. If you're on a PC, it will most likely look more like this with request sample rate over here and unchecked. And with it unchecked, it's going to revert to the sample rate of your audio device. Whether you could change it on the hardware unit itself or in a software driver it may have. But we could override that right here by choosing request sample rate and changing it to the rate we want. So what is sample rate? Digital audio is how we record into Reaper. But audio starts out as analog, and a computer audio interface converts it into digital snapshots called samples. The digital system takes these snapshots at a speed known as the sample rate, similar to how a camera captures video into frames per second. The faster, the more accurate. 44.1 kilohertz is usually the minimum you'd want to use to make sure you're still getting high quality audio. This is what's used for CDs, and that's why it was so popular when CDs were the norm. Now that CDs are less popular, 48 kilohertz has become the more standard rate. This was the audio for video standard, but it's a pretty good overall standard now that most people don't use CDs anymore. 88.2 kilohertz was a good standard for higher resolution audio, as it was exactly double 44.1 kilohertz, so it was easy to convert down for making CDs. But again, as we don't use CDs as much, this is used less and less. 96 kilohertz is now the standard for higher resolution audio as it's double 48 kilohertz and easy to convert down to 48 if needed for final output. 192 kilohertz is double 96 kilohertz and as high as people tend to use. Keep in mind, file size gets bigger the higher we go. So using a super high sample rate is not really necessary in most situations and it winds up wasting hard drive space and CPU power if you don't really need it. Personally, I use 48 kilohertz for everything these days, unless a client asks for something else specifically. The sound quality is excellent and would allow us to run more tracks of audio and effects without slowing down our computer. Now, if we change the sample rate right here in the preferences, it's going to be system wide, meaning it's going to affect every project we work with in Reaper. But we could also set it on a project by project basis. First, make sure this is selected, which it is by default. Then if we go over here to the project settings, in the project settings tab, we can adjust it right here. And it'll only apply to this project. We could also go over here to save as default project settings, and our projects will start with the sample rate we choose each time, while still allowing us to change it on a project by project basis. Or we could turn this off in the project settings and instead turn it on in the preferences. And it's going to work globally in all our projects until we change it manually. Either way will work. Then we have bit depth. Now we can't set our bit depth in this window. That we have to set in the project settings in the media tab. So let's close this. And we can go over here again, or we can go up here and choose the media settings. And then right down here in the recording section, we could choose our wave bit depth right here, assuming we're using wave files. Although if we use others, we could still choose our bit depth. But let's put it back to wave as wave is the default and the most common file format we're probably going to use. So right over here, we could change our wave bit depth or just the bit depth of our recorded files. By default, it's set to 24-bit. So what is bit depth? 
The bit depth refers to the amount of digital information in an audio sample. As the bit depth increases, there's also an increase in the accuracy of the digital representation of the analog waveform. Additionally, the dynamic range of a recording increases as the bit depth increases, resulting in a lower noise floor. The most common audio bit depths are 16-bit, 24-bit, and 32-bit. Higher audio bit depths are able to express more possible amplitude or volume levels. So which one should we use and can we hear the difference? Typically, 16-bit should be enough, as that was the standard for CD. But if you do accidentally record too quiet, you might get unwanted distortion using 16-bit. So 24-bit has become the standard, giving us a much higher dynamic range, although this does use more hard drive space. But it is considered to be worth that trade-off. And while Reaper does allow us to record 32-bit and much higher, you'll rarely need that. In fact, there's a good chance your audio interface doesn't even capture anything above 24-bit. So if you set this higher, you're just wasting hard drive space and CPU processing to play back that file. So only choose something above 24-bit if you know that you'll need it. Personally, I only use 24-bit. Again, the sound quality is excellent and will allow us to run more tracks of audio and effects without slowing down our computer. And if you do change this to something other than the 24-bit default, make sure you choose Save as Default Project Settings over here. So we'll use that setting from now on whenever you start a new project. So that's pretty much it. That's choosing the sample rate and bit depth in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.